All right, everyone, welcome to another video. I'm gonna try something new this time where I'm not gonna do like a trip video. I'm really gonna just focus in on doing one shot. And today uh, I'm making a trip out to Grimes Canyon, uh, which is a little bit north of Moore Park, California. Uh, and I'm up here and I'm gonna see if I can capture a good shot. Um, for those of you that uh, are on Instagram, you'll probably know the shot once you see it. Uh, it's fairly popular, but I wanna see what I can do with it. All right, so I think I found a spot. Uh, there's a trail kind of at the, the bend in the road up here that gets me over to uh, an area that's uh, slightly kind of uphill from the road, and I think it'll give me a good vantage point. Um, and since there's a trail there, I think that's a good indicator. Uh, so let's uh, hike up there. So I got a little while before, uh, before sunset, so I got some time to kind of relax and, and find a composition. Let's check it out. All right, so down here, trying to find the exact composition. It's, it's a bit of a tough call here to find something that uh, isn't too much in the brush, but also gets a good view of the uh, entire uh, road. So I'm looking for something, and uh, we'll see what we can find. So I think I found it uh, kind of on the down slope of the hill just above the road here. I'll probably put on my 16 millimeter to get as much in the frame as I can. I have about 15 minutes before the sun goes below the hills here. So I'm going to get set up. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to take a shot right as the sun is kind of hitting the hillside and uh, see if we can get some nice, uh, some, some nice sun uh, streaks. I don't have the most interesting sky tonight, so I'm gonna have to make up for that with a little bit of color in the sky. Hopefully, as it uh, starts to turn, you know, orange and purple, and then kind of into the black at the night. And then I think I'll also probably take some astro photos. Hopefully, the stars will come out after not too long. I got a completely clear sky, so the stars with the streaks and the car lights, I think, might be a pretty cool shot. So let's check it out and see what happens. So I think I got my composition set. Uh, I got my camera set up and everything. I've got the 16 to 35 F4 on it. We're gonna let the sun go down a little bit more. I'm already starting to get a little bit of you know some uh, some sun <laughs> sun stars, sun spikes, sun I don't know little pointy thingies coming out of the sun. I'm already getting some of those as it's getting closer to the hill. So we'll see how this turns out. I tried shooting with a grad filter on the front, but I wasn't quite getting the effect that I wanted to. And with the long, wide lens, the 16 millimeter, the kind of edges of the frame that holds the, the indie grad filter uh, were kind of showing up and I didn't like it. So uh, so now I'm actually just trying bracketing some shots and, and then we'll see if I can get a, a series of different exposures. Um, and then once I've got that done, uh, I'm gonna toss uh, an ND filter on the front so I can slow down the exposure because uh, I still got a little bit of light right now and I wanna start getting those, those streaks of light. So we'll see how that goes. So I've got the 10 stop ND filter on the front here to try to start getting some of the light streaks. Uh, at my exposure setting, it makes for a one minute and 18 second exposure. Uh, so I'm using 
uh, my uh, trusty little uh, remote trigger and uh, just lock it to the timer and then see how it turns out. All right, it's working for the long exposure, but it doesn't look like the, uh, the streaks on the, the car are quite bright enough yet, so I need to let it get a little bit darker first. Thank you.